Typical striker versus grappler here. Pound for pound represented from Nashville, Tennessee. Tim Carraway making his debut. You see he's feeling the beat right there. Oh, yeah. It very much exudes confidence. That's one thing that I've noticed out of Tim Carraway. We've been around him all weekend long. Of course, there at weigh-ins throughout the, the afternoon, getting him his physical and everything like that. Very confident individual. And he's going to need it against Logan Buck. Like you mentioned, Logan Buck is a very pedigreed wrestler. That guy knows how to get it to the ground. So very strong. We worked out with him some. He's, he's cross-trained some at Team Oxendine. And he, he definitely has a lot of heart, and he brings it. He's told me that he wants to come out and do some striking tonight. I'm anxious to see if that will happen. This is going to be a great fight nonetheless. All right, let's meet Logan Buck now. And his opponent making his way to the cage. Please welcome Logan Buck. As you mentioned, Logan Buck out of the D3 Elite camp. Cross-trained with you some as well, a pedigreed wrestler. He said yesterday that he was going to potentially test the water standing. He, he, wanted, to, he wanted to strike some. So uh, we'll see if, uh, if that holds true tonight. Absolutely. You see Mike Thomas there. Of course, he headlined the first 50-50 fight night with a huge win. It was bloody, and it was a lot of fun. And he's here in the corner now supporting Logan Buck. Where's and Dustin Long? I guess that shoulder's got him out tonight. I yeah, man, here. had a big injury yeah. there back at Border Wars. What a warrior is Dustin Long. Yeah, but again, we, we were not seeing him here tonight, but man, the Jonathan rest Pierce of- in his corner yeah, as well. The rest of D3 Elite out here and in full support. Yeah, this is uh, this is kind of our first win of the night where I, I kind of feel, uh, I smell a potential decision coming. We'll Maybe, see, we'll and see. you never know, you know, I mean, it, when you talk about mixed martial arts, it can always be a wash. It can happen at any time. And we saw that in the last fight. And and so it depends on how the offense of, of the striking of Tim Carraway is, how the wrestling of Logan Buck is, and then how the other deals with right. it. Right. I think both are aware of what the yeah. other one's going to want to do. Now, it's you no never, secret, you know, that to either guy what, what the other guy's going to want to do. And you never know. Logan Buck can come out here swinging for the fences. Like I said, know. he has really worked hard there at D3 Elite. They're known for their striking and their presence on the feet. But old habits die hard. Absolutely, absolutely. I think, you know, I talked to him at length yesterday, actually, and you know, he said that he wanted to test the striking on the feet. He wanted to, to, to show off that aspect of the game, but he's not willing to take a loss at the, at the expense of that. All right, let's go to Jennifer now for the official introductions. This bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. First, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 167 pounds. Fights out of pound for pound in Nashville, Tennessee. And tonight, he is making his MMA debut, Tim Carraway. <laughs> and his opponent across the cage to my left, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 171 pounds. Holds an undefeated record of one win with zero losses and fights out of D3 Elite in Johnson City, Tennessee, Logan Buck. The referee in the action begins is Brandon Sexton. Immediately coming out with a head kick attempt there from Logan Buck, and they're oh, throwing. Big shots there by Caraway right out of the gate. Logan Buck closes the distance here. Logan Buck looking for the throw. Caraway scrambling here. Oh, but Caraway comes out on the ends on up back. on top on the back of Logan Buck here. Trying to hit, trying to get one of those hooks in. He's, he's over to the side a little much. Trying to, to pivot over to the back. Logan Buck known as a pedigreed wrestler, improving his grappling skills. Tim Carraway using Brazilian jiu-jitsu well. right here. 100%, you see the right hook inside. Logan Buck has cleared that back. Now, Logan Buck's gotta be thinking here. He's gotta escape. He's gotta watch how he attempts those throws. If he is able to escape back up, Carraway sinking that, that choke deep. Can't tell if it's under his neck, can you? Oh, it looks deep. It looks, it looks deep. deep. He's gonna have oh. to. He's gonna have to hustle here. 
Tim Carraway in a prime position. And, and it's dead. Tim, Tim Carraway, Carraway with the finish here. Wow. And I would not have called it playing out like that. Not at all. But that's the thing with mixed martial arts. It is not just wrestling, not just striking. You've got to remember the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And that's what we saw here. It was the back. And he didn't even have the hooks. He was able to latch on. You can see here in the replay, secure that choke and finish it off. Big win for Tim Carraway in his debut. Very, very impressive and a good guy. Very athletic and, you know, took advantage of the scramble. We'll take a break. All right. So we will await the official decision from Jennifer Oxendine, and then we will take a brief break before we come back to the second half of the card. Here at 5050 Fight Night 2, Johnson City, Tennessee. Very impressive performance by Tim Carraway coming into the hometown of Logan Buck and getting the win with a submission. And if I had to have called it, I would have thought he would have been uh, a winner by, if he were going to win, he were going to win by knockout. But uh, Logan took it to the ground, got the worst end of that scramble, and your winner's Tim Carraway. Let's go to Jennifer. This. Your referee stops this battle one minute and nine seconds into the first round for your winner by way of rear naked choke submission out of the red corner, Tim Carraway. All right, Tim. Big win here. We, of course, you got in yesterday. We spoke with you. You talked about the drive from Nashville out there training in Middle Tennessee. Your first time here in the Appalachian Mountains here at 5050 Sports Tavern. Talk about your experience. Man, I'll tell you, it's amazing. Uh, I really don't do this fighting stuff. I've only been training for 45 days, but uh, it's, it's been a blessing. I can't give a praise up to get a praise to God. My trainers, my friends, the family, they all watching on Facebook. It's just been a blessing, man. Talk about the fight just a little bit. Logan Buck, known as a pedigreed wrestler. Very, very tough on the ground. Of course, he went for the takedown, allowed you to slip to his back. And from there, it was elementary, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, rear naked choke. Is that how you play, uh, plan for it to play out? No, no, sir, I really want the bang. You know, I'm more of, I come from uh, Nashville, and we pretty much throw punches and stuff like that. And I really haven't even practiced on the choke, but when he turned the back from me, it was so easy. I said, why not? Because he want to wrestle anyway, so I gave him what he want. Tim, you, you're 1-0 real quick. You know, you just started this sport. You're already 1-0. What is next? We're going to see you back here at 50-50 fight night real soon. You and, you and, you and Tim, y'all can work it out, man. I'll be back if y'all want me to come back. Well, there you have it, everybody. One more time, a big round of applause for Tim Carraway.